Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come with another amazing problem. It is heat release in merging the soap bubbles. It's an original problem and uh, today we are going to discuss part 1 under certain uh, specific assumptions. Guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And my current courses on Unacademy are a course of Iron Pecho Foundation and for J Advanced 2023. And image for J 2023 in uh, INPHO Foundation, we are currently uh, will be starting uh, circular motion and uh, work power energy. And uh, in image, we will be starting with the kinematics. And advanced pro problem solving course for J Advanced 2021 is currently going on. It uh, has some of the finest problems of J Physics. And uh, we also have advanced course for J 2022. It's uh, currently. Uh, current electricity is going on in this uh, topic and course on rotational mechanics uh, is also uh, start uh, it has started from first week of june guys you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your j preparation you can unlock these courses on unacademy using my code nathan sir and uh, for more info you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again so here is the problem statement two soap bubbles of same liquid and having radius of uh, r naught are merged together the combination of bubbles takes a new orientation as shown in the figure the surface tension of liquid is t naught and find the heat release in the process of merging so here the assumption which i am taking is uh, that initially individual bubbles are of radius r and after the merging this curved part is also of radius r in reality they, they will slightly change so it depends on uh, what model we are following so here i have uh, already restricted that uh, the curved part also uh, this is the situation just after uh, merging so i'm taking the same radius as initial and uh, in the next part of uh, this problem i am going to solve this uh, problem under the assumption that surface tension value is very very small compared to atmospheric pressure into radius in in that assumption you will see that this radius it will not be r naught it will take a new radius and under that assumption uh, we will uh, solve in part two so answer will slightly change so let's discuss the concept part of this problem so concept wise it's a very straightforward problem that heat released is uh, nothing but change in surface energy so initial surface energy if we calculate and finally we calculate the difference of these two is going to give us the answer so t naught times a initial minus a final a initial is the initial surface area and a final is the final surface area so a initial is very easy to calculate since we are dealing with the air bubbles so bubbles so there are two interfaces inside and outside each with the area of 4 pi r square so for one bubble and the surface area is uh, 2 into 4 pi r square and there are two such bubbles so total area initially will become 16 pi r square now uh, very recently i published a video uh, on distance between the two centers and that result uh, was a general result and the value was root of r1 square plus r2 square minus r1 r2 so if i substitute the value r1 is r r2 is r i'm going to get c1 c2 as r so very symmetric geometry is going to come here you can see these forces they are uh, at 120 degree so now this angle is uh, 60 degree this angle is 60 degree and this is also 60 degree so equilateral triangle we have r r and r all right so now suppose this surface area is uh, given by a1 for one one side and similarly this is also a1 and this is a2 so from here i can say 2a1 will come for two layers 2a1 will come from here and 2a2 will come from here so total finally the surface area will become 4a1 plus 2a2 there are two surfaces now a2 is very easy to calculate a2 is uh, this radius is r so it will be like a, a disc kind of uh, or you can say a flat circle uh, will come so the area of that circle is pi x square where uh, uh, this x is nothing but r cos 30 this angle is 30 you can say at the same time r sin 60 also so it will become r by 2 <laughs> all right and pi r square by 4 will uh, come here sorry this will be cos 30 or sin 60 r sin 0 root 3 by 2 will come so 3 pi r square by 4 will be the a2 value 
i hope this part is clear similarly i can use uh, this result of area of spherical cap i think most of you will be aware of this result we use this very frequently in physics and in gauss theorem so many times you would have uh, used it so i'll just uh, recommend you to remember this area of this uh, spherical cap surface area is 2 pi r square 1 minus cos theta so you can check here now this cap here this area is actually this angle is uh, 120 degree so i can write a1 value as 2 pi r square 1 minus cos 120 when i simplify i'm going to get a1 as 3 pi r square so now i can write a final as 4 a1 square plus 2 a2 a1 is 3 pi r square so 12 pi r square it will give and a2 is 3 pi r square by 4 so double of that will be 3 pi r square by 2 when i simplify this value will come as 27 by 2 pi r square so now it's very easy to calculate heat release will become uh, t times pi r square 16 minus 27 by 2 so when i simplify this i'm going to get heat released as 5 pi r square t by 2 uh, this is going to be the answer so guys please remember this is under the assumption that shape of the bubbles are not changing that is given in the problem uh, statement uh, that shape is not changing uh, or you can say that it remains the same sphere of radius r so please check the next video also which is uh, the part two of this which will uh, have more general approach though slightly more uh, tough calculations will come uh, this was uh, straightforward and uh, easily we can see this type of question in exam so if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it thank you thanks for watching it